How's it going, boys? Gianni Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 17 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm using my playoff-bound Toronto Maple Leafs. That's right, boys. I said it. I think 2017 is going to be a great year for Toronto. So we're going to do a post-commentary this time. I got a lot of details I got to go through. And there'd be no way I could do it if I was doing it live. So we'll start off with the record, with the, which is 23-14-9 for the Toronto Maple Leafs which gives them 55 points for third place in the Atlantic Division. Now, the record may not look impressive with all those overtime and shootout losses, but you know what? It is. Right now, the Leafs have the sixth best record in terms of regulation losses with only 14. We've been a very hard team to beat in 60 minutes, especially since the start of December, which is when everything started to click. Since the beginning of December, the Leafs have played 23 games and have a record of 13, 5, and 5. Now, if you just take these last 23 games and average out the regulation losses over an 82-game period, the Leafs would only have 17.8 losses. Now, to put that in perspective, last year's President's Trophy winner, the Washington Capitals, had only 18 regulation losses on the year. Now, it may sound crazy, but since December 1st, the Leafs have been a top-tier team. And when you look at the lineup, it's actually not a surprise. First off, in the net, Frederick Harold Bluetooth Anderson, baby. He has been a stud for us after settling in. Now, we all know it was a slow start, but since then, his save percentage has crept above 920. I believe the Leafs have found their goalie for now and for the next five years. I mean, he's locked up. He looks solid when he's on. And, you know, I love his ability to, to flip the puck up the ice to the forwards. He got an assist the other night against Detroit. He's clearly not a fluke either with a uh, career save percentage of .919 in over 164 games played. 164, something like that. So the guy's logged his minutes. We are solid in the net. And our forward core, woo baby, here comes the... Uh, the, the, the strongest piece of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Our forward core is one of the best offensive forward cores in the NHL. The Leafs are averaging 3.1 goals a game, which is sixth best in the league. We don't have a first, we don't have a second, we don't have a third line. Instead, we have three second lines that on any given night can light it up. First, you have to talk about the rookie sensation, Austin Matthews. 23 goals. 39 points in his first 46 games. Austin Matthews has been the Leafs' best player by far. He's so good, you can treat him like uh, like Sidney Crosby, right? I'm not saying he's as good as Sid. I'm saying you can treat him like Sid. Sid doesn't need Malkin or Kessel to be on his line to be effective. Instead, throw Rust and Shiria with him so Sid can elevate these two while Gino and Phil can dominate their own lines. I mean, look at Pittsburgh's uh, playoff run last year. You had Malkin, Sid, and Kessel spread out. Well, with Matthews, you can throw Connor Brown and Zach Hyman alongside of him to help elevate these two guys and to spread out the offense. By the way, Matthews, Brown, and Hyman have 41 goals between them. Next, we can talk about Mitch Marner, who is quietly making a case for the Calder Trophy with 11 goals, 28 assists in his first 46 games played. The great thing about Marner is that He's basically replaced Phil Kessel on the JVR uh, Bozak line. Now, if you remember when Phil was with Toronto, he, JVR, were lighting, uh, uh, lighting it up with Bozak at center. Well, now Marner's on the right side with that right-handed shot. He may not be wiring it off the rush, but the possession player, right? He's on the right side, and now that line is killing it again. JVR has 17 goals, 39 points, while Bozak has 12 goals, 30 points. Basically, Bozak wins the faceoff. Marner carries the puck, and JVR finishes it. That line has 40 goals between them. And that leaves William Nylander and Nazem Kadri, who play together alongside Elio Komarov. Now, Nylander is having a great rookie season with 30 points in 45 games played. But he has been overshadowed by uh, um, Austin Matthews and William Nylander. But the real story about this line is Nazem Kadri. He's had an incredible year so far, embracing a new defensive role. And the funny thing is that embracing this new role has led to 20 goals in the first 46 games for Nazem Kadri. It's going to be a 30-goal scorer this year? What the hell? The Kadri nylander Komarov line has scored 37 goals between them. So that gives the Leafs three great forward lines that can all score. Like I said, Matthews line, 41 goals. Marner line, 40 goals. The Kadri line, 37 goals. And not to mention that I love our fourth line of Matt Martin, Frederick Gucci, and Nikita Sashnikov. A perfect energy line that can also chip in offensively. And you know, our offense is great, but our coaching, mm, a plus. Mike Babcock, he deserves so much credit. He's figured out the line combinations, 
He's used whichever line is working that night. Like I said, we got three second lines. Sometimes the rookies ain't playing great, but we got another two lines that we can go to, and he does. And you know, he's turned the Leafs into a special team nightmare. A power play percentage that is second best in the NHL, which, I mean, we got some great players, so you can't maybe, you can't give him all the credit there, but the penalty kill, our penalty kill is fourth best in the NHL. That's a coaching stat. That's Babcock right there, right? So the Leafs are looking great. But where the Leafs have problems is the back end, the point. We already know that Jake Gardner and Morgan Riley are capable NHL defensemen, but they're not elite, okay? They're still young, they can get better, especially Riley. But right now, they're top four D-man. Nikita Saitsev, he's been a great pickup for us, but falls into the same category as Riley or Gardner, being at best a top four D-man, right? Still young, could still get better, but right now, you know, you want them as that second pairing. After those three guys, it does get weak with Hunwick, Polak, Marinson and Carrick, right? Now, I truly believe, to calm down, don't go crazy here. I'm, I, I mean this when I say it, but I truly believe the Leafs have a roster that is one step away from being a Stanley Cup contender. Whoa, I know, calm down, boys. Let me explain myself, okay? If we could just get a top-line elite right-handed defender and insert him into the team without trading away any roster players, a guy like Shea Weber, Drew Doughty, uh, uh, Seabrook, this team would be set. But I know that's not going to happen, right? To get a guy like that, you have to trade away some value. And by trading away value, we would lose those, those three forward lines. The point I'm trying to make is, our special teams being the way it is, Mike Babcock, our goaltender, and our forward core, if we could just get a stud defenseman, Petrangelo, some, some right-handed stud defenseman, this team, this Maple Leaf squad, would be dangerous. And that's why you heard earlier on in the season um, the trade uh, rumors about William Nylander and Dougie Hamilton that right-handed defenseman but if you're going to get him you got to give up one of those stud forwards right so I want to put the question to you guys what should the Leafs do at the trade deadline this year I feel like we are going to be a playoff team unless unless the wheels fall off the bus again I just don't see that happening we we, we got a good team this year we are deep we got a goaltender but do we trade for defensemen and by trading for defensemen do you trade draft picks? Do you trade prospects? Or do you have patience with this young Toronto Maple Leaf team? It's not crazy to think that we're going to get better next year, right? So maybe wait for defensemen to come up. Maybe wait for Riley Gardner Seitzev to grow into that elite defenseman, right? We got time. Or do we just say, fuck it, we want Kevin Shattenker. Fuck it, we want uh, 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 who else is out there? I don't even know, but some right-handed elite defenseman, right? So that's the question I want to put to you guys. Let me know, and I will see you in the next one. Go Leafs, go. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Rock on!